Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn how we can send push notification to our Ionic app. As you can see, this is the emulator which is running. Uh, and I'll show you how we can, you know, create the payload in the postman and how we should be able to send the message. All right. So this is the payload. It required a token and it, this is nothing but a device token. And then uh, what uh, what is the title you want to send? What is the, uh, I mean, like message body. And if you want to send some extra data, you can send. So the data is a predefined property. And then after that, you can have the custom property as I've given right now, key one, value one, two, and something like that. All right, but the only thing is uh, three important things. One is the device token. Second is the the app or uh, you know project ID, the Firebase project ID, and the third one is the the token. I'll tell you how you can generate this token. All right. So first, let's see a demo. So I'll go back to the body, and uh, I'll just say right now, let's say title two and body two. I'll just change and. Uh, you can see uh, right now there is nothing this some text is something else I'll just show you from where I got this message all right so let me send this and uh, you can see this the message uh, just now I received title to body two or something like that now I'll show I'll, I'll, I'll tell you how we can get this you know token so in the last video I have shown you like you can you know um, uh, do a debug I mean internally what you will be doing like the when you run your application you will while registering you will get a token I'm printing that token device token in the console so that's why I'm using this debug inspect so that I can show you so so device token is somewhere here so while registering I'm getting the registration token and I'm printing in my console so what actually you will be doing when you will be having the real app you'll get the device token and you have to register the token and save somewhere in your DB all right <clears throat> So using this token, I just copied this token and pasted it over here. It's the same token ending with P5. If I go back there, uh, here, you can see it's ending with P5. All right. So that's how you will get the device registration token. And the second token is nothing to call that API. So for that, uh, you know, this is which I am adding as a beer token, actually. So for that, what you need to do, is you need to do a small setup. So what you can do, you can create an application just like I have created FCM message service in that I have just one endpoint right now this is a just what I'm showing from the postman so that also you can you know do it from the API okay so that part I'm showing using a postman but how you'll generate the you know beer token so that is the service I'm just showing right now what you need to do you need to download the file uh, called Firebase admin SDK it has nothing but I'll show you some configuration Mm, this is the part and this is the project ID which I am keeping in my URL I'll just go back to the postman and you can see it's ending with the 726C5 C7 and it's the same thing right other stuff also is also there so that the file path you need to give it uh, to this uh, for, you know this is like uh, I'm using this library Google API is auth watch 2 okay so that library will help us in generating the beer token all right and you can pass the scope as this messaging firebase messaging uh, uh, path and once you execute that maybe i'll just show you that also so let me go back and this is the endpoint access token if i try out so i get a beer token let me copy it again and copy and put it in postman so i'll just replace this one let me delete this and paste here and if i hit uh, right now body and let me change to three right now and if I send this time <clears throat> you should be able to see the same uh, message again you can see the title three and three is coming so that's how I created the uh, you know payload now I'll show you other part of that how I got that file so that to uh, let me go back to the project and this is the file I'm talking about the Firebase admin SDK so for that what you need to do you need to go to your uh, Firebase console click on this uh, service account let it load all right just scroll a little down and there is a uh, button called generate new private key and when you click on it you should be getting the same uh, you can see it's also having the firebase admin you can see in the tool tab all right so this is the file and one more thing you need to go to cloud messaging tab make sure this firebase cloud messaging is enabled by default it's enabled if it's not enabled, you can just follow the steps it will take you to that and uh, you should be able to enable it.
now i'll show you like uh, you can send the messages to all the devices so you don't need a token or something for that so what you can do let's say you are sending some you know like a campaign kind of messages so for that you what you need to click on this uh, messaging tab normally it will be somewhere here once you click it will come to this project shortcut all right so this the some text i was showing you know some title and some text which you have seen over uh, you know here if i will show you drag it down now it's gone let me clear it off i hope if i duplicate it will normally it takes time to deliver the message so let me duplicate this all right so let me i'll say this time some title one some text one and uh, this is how it's gonna look like if you want to try so you can put your device token for testing purpose and if you want to send to all you can just simply say i want to send to app this is a demo app it will automatically show and then that's it and when you want to send this message you can say now i can say now hopefully it should send now let's see so send publish The campaign is created as you can see all right so it's active hopefully we should see the message over here normally it takes time as uh, like before starting the video I sent this uh, some text uh, and some title and while creating the video it came that I mean that message was in between right so just like that I'll tell you it takes uh, time to deliver the message let's see if we got it that's fine we need not to wait it okay now i'll show you one more thing let me go back to the code <clears throat> so this is the service which i have created fcm services and this is the place where i'm actually you know you know registering the my app to the i mean like i device my device to the you know firebase server and there are like a lot of methods um like method is small methods so what you need to do for example let's say if i'm sending one more message let me send right now and now message might have already delivered so my title 3 uh, just now it's delivered if i click on it what should happen right right now it's not doing anything so those things you can write over here and uh, and then what let's say you might have observed you receive a notification and when you click on it goes to app like it's stuff like that that you will be writing over here all right let's see one more time whether the same text is delivered or not I think that is still not delivered. Yeah, normally it takes time, but it will be delivered because that's a campaign message. It takes its own time. But using the your own service, I mean, when you use Firebase, uh, you know, token and the device token, you can send the message. It will be delivered immediately. Just like, like let's say you are sending a message from one device to another device. It will be real quick. I'll just show you one more time and then you are good to go. You can see title 4 is delivered and one more thing i missed to show you is like let's say this extra data right let's say you want to send some extra data how you can you know capture that also so maybe i'll go back to the inspect window and this is the last message right now i send with uh, hyphen 4 you can see this is the one title hyphen 4 and that this data right so this i'm receiving now i can do whatever i want to do with this extra data right and these messages are these logs are printed from this class okay so depending on the user uh, business use we, we can use the way we want to do all right uh, that's uh, pretty much about this video thank you very much